Hey everyone, I'm Douglas Wilbanks, East Coast Field Technician at Laboratory Instrument Specialists. Here at LIS, we service and sell various laboratory equipment such as this MB27 here. You can find a wider variety of instruments we service and sell on our website at lissi.com. Link will be in, down in the description. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the MB27, giving you a list of important specs as well as showing you how to properly calibrate the scale and temperature and how to properly test liquid food samples. This is the OHAS MB27, weighing in at 4.6 pounds, measuring 11 inches in depth, 6.5 inches in width, and 5 inches in height. This unit uses a halogen heating source, and its temperature settings can range between 50 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius, but only in 5 degree increments. The maximum weight capacity of the scale is 90 grams and holds 9 centimeter aluminum dishes. The MB27 is the least accurate in the current MB series lineup being able to read 1 one hundredth of a percent per milligram samples. To properly calibrate the instrument, you will need a precise calibration weight and a temperature calibrator like we have here. Both items are sold on our website. The MB27 is very simple to calibrate. Open the lid and remove the aluminum dish. Press the tear button to zero out the scale weight. Press and hold the print button, which also acts as the calibration button. Once it reads cal, let go of the button and then it will flash 50 grams. Now we'll take the 50 gram weight and apply it. Dashes will flash and when the number zero flashes, remove the weight and the screen will read done. To validate that calibration is correct, place a 50 gram weight back onto the scale and it should read 50 grams. Now to calibrate the temperature sensor, we'll be calibrating at two set points, 100 and 160 degrees Celsius. Remove the pan support and press and hold the calibration button and let go when cal is displayed. Insert the temperature calibrator and close the lid. It'll automatically begin to calibrate the temperature sensor at 100 degrees. After 15 minutes, you'll be asked to verify through the event to see if the temperature sensor on the calibrator matches 100 degrees. If not, press the up and down arrow key to make the instrument match. Once it has matched, press the tear button or enter button to accept that calibration set point. Once complete, the 160 degree set point will begin. Follow the same procedure for this set point as well. If either the weight or temperature calibration is wrong on your device after performing this calibration process, please contact us and we will consult with you on the proper steps to ensure your device gets fixed and is calibrated properly. Now we'll do a sample test. Do keep in mind to keep test results consistent, I highly recommend there be a, a standard operating procedure in place. Please refer to the types of samples section on page EN-6 of the MB27 instruction manual for further details on how exactly to test on different substances. We will have a link to the PDF file in the description. We'll be doing a wet food test sample with substances that go from solid to liquid such as butter as well as slushy like substances like sour cream, cream cheeses, or the yogurt we have here. It's best to spread the substance with a spatula all over the glass fiber sample pads so the pad can soak up as much moisture as possible and spread it out evenly, resulting in a more accurate test result. We'll start with our usual pan setup and insert it into the scale. Hit the tear button to zero out the dish. Now grab your sample and spread the wet food sample product evenly on the glass fiber sample pad. Now close the lid and press the start button to begin the test. The test should take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes depending on the switch off criteria option you're using for the test. Once the test is done, the results will be displayed on the front panel. To achieve the best performance while performing tests, it's best to clean the instrument between each test. Remove and dispose of the sample. Remove the pan holder. Remove the air shield. You can also remove the chamber from the body. And with a clean wipe or a brush, clean out the remaining debris. Now just reassemble all the pieces back together and apply a new sample dish and you're ready to start the next test. And that is all. If your lab equipment needs servicing, feel free to contact us at info at lissci.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Want to check out more videos on the lab equipment we service and sell here at LIS? Check out our channel and make sure to subscribe for future videos. And as always, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.